Hey, so uh, a while ago I did my reaction to the uh, first Sonic the Hedgehog movie trailer coming out, and uh, people really seemed to like it, so now with the second one dropping, I felt uh, it only made sense to give my thoughts on that. Uh, again, I try, I try not to do too many trailer reactions, except... Uh, if I have something interesting to say in th this trailer, well, the past one, people had lots to say. Uh, I'm sure you know what it is. Uh, in case you missed it, uh, most people were very angry at the way it was uh, presented, especially uh, the design of Sonic. And uh, now you have this new trailer out that has totally, mostly I should say, uh, changed the look of Sonic. And uh, I don't know what the initial reaction is. I haven't looked through comments or anything, but uh, I'm assuming people will be a little happier. It does look closer uh, to the um, uh, to the original design. And uh, they even, like, most of the shots in this are, are is new footage like you would with the second trailer, but they were sure to show the one scene where he screams again, because you know they're like, no, we, we, you gotta show that again, because that's the image they always used to show what have they done to Sonic? Look at his teeth! They're human teeth! What? Uh, and now they like show it here. It's like, look, he has Simpsons teeth. It's okay. Um... So, my, so I'm assuming people are happier about this, you know, at least about the design of him, uh, except me, not me, no, um, I was looking forward to a crazy, batshit, insane, terrible movie, and now it just looks like a run-of-the-mill bad movie, uh, <laughs> so, I mean, needless to say, the this trailer is better, the design is better, uh, it sounds like they're listening to people, it sounds like, it, it looks like everything they show in this trailer, they must have known shit, we fucked up with that first trailer, uh, Gangster Paradise? <laughs> what the hell were we thinking? <laughs> so, this one, it shows where he comes from, it shows, like, the, uh, uh you know, cause he's an alien now, I mean, I don't know what I expect, uh, but it shows the little loop land they comes from, you know, the, um, uh, you know, the area that's always the first level and everything, and, uh, and it kind of explains a little bit why he comes to, uh, our world, um, and I, I, I'll, I mean, they say alien, but it's looking like just a parallel dimension or a different dimension, something like that, because the rings are being used to, like, teleport, I guess, which... I don't know, how would you explain rings in a movie? Uh, you know, because obviously in the game it's like your life force. The more you get, uh, you know, and you collect them at the end, and then you hit once, you lose them all. How's that going to work with, with Sonic? Uh, so, so you got this movie, that this trailer, I should say, that uh, the music fit a lot better. The design of him is a lot better. Uh, clearly a lot more care was put into it. Even Jim Carrey got one or two laughs out of me. The one that really got a laugh out of me is when he's looking for him and he sees him, like Sonic is surrendering. And <laughs> the first time Jim Carrey sees him, he just screams. Ah! And that really caught me off guard and really made me laugh. Uh, everything else does not look... Again... Going by this trailer, because the first one was so spectacularly bad, like a masterpiece of bad. Uh, this one just, if you were to show it to me and be like, this is the first Sonic trailer, I'd just be like, alright, another probably forgettable family flick uh, that happens to have a character I know in it. Uh, but it's kind of obviously not going to be that faithful. Um, but the stuff that... They seem to do well. They, they seem to do the anything with him running seems to be done pretty good. Uh, I like uh, sort of that effect where it shows like ten or twenty of him on the screen at the same time doing something all at the same, you know, all at once. Uh, I, I think that looks very funny. And it's a very clever way of showing, uh, uh, you know, his speed. Uh, it's something they kind of did in the first one. Uh, is I like when he's going so fast that all these missiles are coming at him and he grabs him and kind of plays him like a drum. Like, that was a little funny. Um, and it looks like they're incorporating a lot into that. Uh, you know, maybe that's where a lot of the comedy is going to come from. I don't know. Uh, if so, it's, it's good visual humor. Uh, but, yeah, it's still... You gotta go around with Cyclops, with Sonic being the bunny from Hop, essentially, and... Jim Carrey just kind of doing his 
you know, leftover Grinch material, sort of like when he gets angry, he just sort of goes in a corner and why would you do that? Like he kind of, it's almost like, it's like dead air, but it's not. He'll kind of just make these grumbling noises and that, I don't know, I don't find that too funny, but, but again, he did get a few laughs out of me in this trailer. I, I like when he was kind of yelling about whatever it was, the latte or whatever. Um, so... So it's weird. Uh, do I think this looks like a good movie? Not especially, but it definitely looks better than the first trailer I saw. But I kind of feel like anything would be better than that first trailer, and I'm not even, I'm not even saying that like to really like say shame on you, because like I said, I was actually kind of looking forward to. It. I was looking forward to being this just amazing bad, and now it just looks like it's gonna be a run-of-the-mill dumb, you know, uh, you know, where it's like, I don't know, you're just gonna see another, you know, forgettable Bloomhouse horror film where you could be watching The Room, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a film you just totally forget about. I don't know why I picked Bloomhouse. I guess they do a lot of, you know, some of their horror films are forgettable or whatever, but, you know, uh, you know, a slasher film, I should say. Uh, Bloomhouse has done good movies, too. You know, like just a run-of-the-mill slasher film about, I don't know, a, a guy in a mask. <laughs> you know, you'll just immediately forget. It's just kind of a run-of-the-mill dumb. Or you could be seeing The Room. It's like, I want The Room! You know, it's like the first Sonic trailer was The Room! Uh, you know, and now we have just kind of your run-of-the-mill slasher film, you know, that you'll just forget about really quick. Uh, but, but I could be wrong. Um, uh, maybe they'll pull out something really great. Uh, it probably won't be that much Sonic, uh, in terms of how we know him, but... But at the same time, there has been adaptations that have been different, but, but still faithful. You know, I think of the Saturday morning cartoon, that was... That was different in many respects. I mean, that was that was a lot darker. The world looked different. Um, but, but, you know, even the characters weren't always, like, the exact same animal characters. They had tails, and, like, I think that was about it. I don't think any other characters uh, from the game were in there outside of Robotnik. But, uh, but it was good. So, I don't know. I, I don't think this is going to be that same level. It's certainly not looking like it. But, uh, but it's definitely an improvement. Sadly, it's definitely an improvement. Uh, I really wanted to see that crazy ass awful, no redesign, no nothing. I just wanted to go balls to the wall, whatever the hell it was going to do. But they had to listen to the fans, and because of it, it is improved. <laughs> Which is a very strange thing to say, I know. Um, but, but also, I'm talking like I've seen the movie, and I haven't. Uh, you know, there's been terrible trailers for great movies, and there's been great trailers for awful movies, so, I mean, you never really know, but, uh, yeah, um, it, it just looks like, it, it kind of looks like the movie when I saw the poster, you know, with him on, like, the San Francisco Bridge and stuff like that, I'm just like, you know, eh, okay, you know, on the Golden Gate, I was just like, all right, this is, this is the trailer I expected from, like, that poster, um, so it, it's not, where the first one, like, nobody could prepare me for that. So, yeah, I didn't even watch it a second time. I just watched the trailer once. But that first one, I had to watch, like, three or four times. Because uh, it's amazing. And that's... I should be put in a museum, man. Just just should be in a museum. Uh, but, yeah, I, it, it's looking like just a run-of-the-mill, uh, you know, probably forgettable movie. So, it's probably the last. And I'm sure they'll have at least one more trailer. Uh, but that's probably the last I'm going to... It, it talk about these trailers until I see the movie. Um, you know, obviously I'll talk about the movie, give my thoughts. But, yeah, it's... Uh, unless, like, the third trailer just goes to really, really batshit crazy again. Like, does just something insane. But I don't think it's going to. I think it's gonna be just the middle of the road bland. Um, but maybe not. Maybe it'll be okay. Like I said, you gotta... You gotta hold out a little hope. And again, I... Even though it's not going to give me the amazing bad I wanted, uh, you got to give credit to a, a guy, a director, who's just like, okay, we're going to spend lots of money and push this back lots of time. I mean, that that's a big fucking deal to do, uh, it, to change the design of this character. It's also kind of a cool age where you can do that. Uh, so that... That is something. For for everything you can say about this movie, you know, when it comes out and the trailers and stuff like that, uh, that is really something that someone's like, no, you know what, I want to get this, 
I want to get this close to what the fans want, you know, it's like, I'm making this movie, but I also want to give fans what they're looking for, so let me make this change, and it's like, fair enough, uh, you know, it's, I'd much rather see the batshit insane <laughs> stuff you had planned, because I don't think this is gonna fix much, uh, I think it's still gonna be, so you change the design, it doesn't mean it's gonna fix the movie, <laughs> uh, but, but then again, Maybe the movie we're going to get is not one that would just play Gangsta's Paradise in the middle of a chase scene. <laughs> Maybe it'll play more appropriate music. You know, it, it looks like they're trying to change a lot of things up. Like, they're trying to put more thought and care into it. Uh, but it's still going to be the same story, you know. Just character from another dimension comes to our world and run-of-the-mill normal guy is like, ah, oh, probably is trying to get it on with a woman that he keeps acting silly around and the little cuddly friend tries to help him out and there's some bad guy who's over the top, Jim Carrey trying to chase him. I mean, we've seen this a million times. Uh, so I don't think just the redesign is going to change that, but who knows. So yeah, that's my thoughts, uh, my initial thoughts in the second trailer. I'll probably just wait for the film to come out until I say anything else about it. So uh, that's about it. Let me know your thoughts i don't know if this is going over well or not i mean i i would imagine people are happier about the redesign but you never know maybe they're like he looks worse but i i don't think anything could look worse than that first one <laughs> so um yeah there it is man uh let me know what you think if you think it looks better if you think the movie will be better because of this uh let me know your thoughts that's about it i'll see you next time take care